Now this, it may look like a panda, but it's not a panda, it's actually a car. With a 280cc inline 6, ooh, all of, all of the 2JC boys are going crazy now. Yeah, inline 6 with a turbo, wow. And it's supposed to be fuel efficient, that's why it has this arrow piece over here. Is that aerodynamical? Probably not, but uh, if, if I was a car engineer, would I be making videos on YouTube? I fucking wouldn't. And you want to know what's even cooler than that? This, I said that it was very fuel inefficient. Yes, I mentioned that. It, it goes on compressed gas. And it has a manual, Jesus fucking Christ, <clears throat> manual transmission. No power steering, so the steering is a little bit iffy. And as you can see, it gets absolutely amazing fuel economy. Ooh, and let's step on it, jeez. Um, the steering wheel is acting a little bit funny. Oh god. <laughs> so, it idles at just over a thousand RPM, so any think below that is really just the engine shutting off okay first test for this is quite obvious it's a fuel test oh oh no 1.8 out of a hundred is that a very good score let's let's give it a little bit more time and and then let's see what it does oh god <coughs> If, if we were to, for example, push this engine, oh, look at that beautiful 46 newton meters of torque and 22 horsepower. Woo! God damn. How many speeds do we have? We have four. Aha! Uh -huh. That's interesting. But see, now it gets a 2 out of 100. There you go, my boy. My creation. My monster. And we fucking go. 2.2 out of 100. This is scoring so good right now. <laughs> we will see if it can score as good in other categories. Oh, it's, it's from wheel drive. Oh god, I'm off the road. This is how you win air in life by cheating. It's called cheating. I forgot my vocabulary there for a second. Okay. Now, in the new automation update, you can't really get that fuel efficient as you could in the other one. This has the highest fuel efficiency I've ever seen of like, I think it's 33 or something. And in the other one, I could get a, <laughs> I could get a six liter V8 to have a fuel efficiency of like 35. And it would use, <laughs> we use almost no fuel, okay? Closing in on 110. Ooh, 2.3 out of 100. This is getting such a good score. Holy shit. I can feel it already. And as we finish the... Whatever the fuck we were doing. I think I know English. No, I don't. Uh, this car ends up with a 1.9 out of 100 on the fuel economy scale. Is that good? Is that bad? Probably? Um... What do you take me for, the guy who just fucking knows shit? What the fuck? Okay, next test. So like any one-seater economy car with a turbo and an inline six, we can expect regular use. <laughs> My fucking god. We can expect regular use on the 8th track. Bro, I used the clutch, bitch. 
Also, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm ill, so I sound maybe very sexy and muscular, but probably not. Holy shit. This card is so amazing. Ooh. Well, I expect it to. It's from Wheel Drive. Oh yeah, not, I'm not ill as in... As in... The good kind of ill where I'm... I don't know, good at rapping or something? No, 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 I'm ill in the sort of way that I... <laughs> kind of wish I would die so I wouldn't have to... Constantly have a headache and I would be able to, you know, breathe and shit. But this thing is actually quite good at this. <laughs> and you know what? Let me explain you the science behind it. It has long gear ratios. So instead of wondering what gear to put it in, you put it in the closest gear you can. And then just let it stay there. Come on, I want second. There we go. And then... Oh, jeez. And then, it has tall, skinny tires, with a decent amount of sidewall, and it's light, so it's just the perfect 8-track vehicle. I'll give this a solid 7.5 out of 8.35 on the 8-track. God damn! I did not expect it to be this fucking good. Wee boink boink and then it does the jump perfectly. This is kind of like a I this to me feels like a um if you were to have a more powerful car you would be like okay and now I need to hit the brakes and then back on the throttle so that I hit the jump perfectly. This just does it automatically. You just floor it and it does everything for you. I accidentally, I mean, I meant to do this, I uh, did a lot of science and math in order to make the gearing perfect so that you could floor it and do it perfectly on the 8 track. Okay, so now that we're done here, uh, I'm just gonna turn off the track. I'm just gonna leave the track. I'm just gonna leave the track. I'm just... I'm just gonna leave the track. How the fuck do I leave the track? Oh god. Okay. okay. <clears throat> Maybe there's a... Maybe there's a turn off right here? No? It just... Goes back. <laughs> Excuse me, we're having slight technical diff... Oh god, here again. We're having slight technical difficulties. Um, I don't, I don't know how to get off this. Where, where's the exit? Oh God! Oh no! And this car is so fuel efficient. I'll, I'll just stay here for hours. It's gonna take me like three days of non-stop driving. To fucking even see that I'm using fuel on the on the measurer, fuck him a fuck down here. Oh god! Oh no! How do I get off the track? How do I get off the track? Oh please, please, no, no, not another left turn. <clears throat> oh god! Not the left turn. But then it's this part again, and then oh god. Help! Adult! Is there an adult nearby? Fuck, where the fucking... Where am I? Wait, and then there's two jumps! How does that even make sense? Oh god! Oh no! <laughs> Somebody please help me! Okay, and here we are at the top of a mountain to see the, the, the most important thing in any co economy car. So just imagine this, right? You're, you're a family, and you're having a child, and the child grows up and is about three years old, and it constantly goes like, Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Dad, Dad, I have a question, I have a question, I have a question. 
what is it? And then there's just some stupid fucking question. What what the fuck are you gonna do when your child keeps asking stupid fucking questions? Is this the car for you? If you if you decide that you no longer care, you no longer give a shit. It doesn't matter. Your <laughs> your child is taking you over the limit. <sighs> Will this car be good? As you can see, this car fits perfectly for the person. Oh god. <clears throat> for the person whose child drives them bonkers. The egg shape uh, is intended to be aerodynamic, but it actually ends up being really good at falling down hills. And because the way the tires are created, even though this is an extraordinary light car, it will not float. I said it will not float. It's also very cheap. Now finally, I hear you ask the most important question in a family car. Yes, I have said that all of these are the most important. No, it doesn't matter, okay? Uh, oh yeah, and by the way, in the half pipes, it gets a, it gets a point one out of... 3,000, which is surprisingly good, <clears throat> but yeah, the, um, the, the most important, most important, did I say most important, or did I mean most important, who cares, but Matt, what if I accidentally on a night out, where I don't mean to drink, so I'm driving, and then I end up drinking, and taking, uh, molly laced with fentanyl, and it's raining out, and I'm driving way too fast, what will happen with the car? It will just understeer. It won't be able to aquaplot. <laughs> okay. No. <clears throat> Aquaplotting happens at around 80 kilometers per hour. Okay, I I honestly don't know if it does it or not. Sorry, I'm not an expert. Okay, wait. So on the dry spot on the dry spot, it's really good, and then it just understairs. Hmm. Switch to winter tires. But, but what are we doing here in Germany? Oh, look, castle. Or as they would say in ca in Germany, castle, because Germans know English too. Oh yeah, out on the autobahn. Yeah. Look, I know German. Be proud of me. Okay. Oh, and now we're right at the fuck. <clears throat> Low render distance is a problem that 7 out of out of out of 15 Americans struggle with every day. Go see your local person who gives you glasses <laughs> to see if you're entitled for a higher render distance today. Okay, this is also very important. What if I fall asleep at the wheel while there's a curve? What will happen? Well, if you let go of the wheel, it will send, send your car twerking into the side rail. And you will fucking die. Don't don't fall asleep at the wheel like motherfucker. Don't buy a car if that's a question you're fucking asking. Like, how dumb can you be? And on the note of dumb, this gets a 7 out of 5. Because, you know what? I like the color scheme. Now, it is true that this is one of the best cars ever. Made for absolutely everybody. The only thing that could deter you from buying this is the fact that it's made out of carbon fiber and costs two hundred and fifty thousand dollars, twenty twenty dollars. But I hear you say, "Howdy, partners! I'm a, an American cowboy, cheeseburger, hamburger, guns and guns and freedom, and God bless." 
What if I live at a place like this, a farm, and I need a diesel—I need a diesel pickup truck, but I'm uh, trying to buy this. Will it work as a diesel pickup truck? Fuck no. <laughs> Humans have more torque. Cats have more horsepower. This doesn't have a hitch, and it doesn't use—and it doesn't get five miles per gallon, however much that may be. No, no, it doesn't fucking fit for you. Like, what the fuck are you thinking? So this get a farm score? Uh, three out of one. Uh, it actually works the opposite. It's like, lower is better. Uh, it's kind of like, not basketball, but golf. You know what I'm saying? Um, quick re just a TLDR, because this video's getting long. Um, and that means, with the farm score, this gets a perfect... 104% score, which is absolutely amazing. One wouldn't think that a car purpose-built for, um, for fuel efficiency would get such a high score in all the different categories, but this does. This absolutely does. That's why the 2020 panda-looking ass gets... A thumbs up from me, the man who engineered and designed it, it, did it, did it. And by that, I hope that you have had a good video. Fucking hell, what am I saying? I hope that you have had fun, because I have had fun. And if we both have had fun, why not subscribe? But you won't. Um, so, uh, yeah, have a rest, fun of your fun ref rest of your day. I almost know how to speak, even. Have a fun rest of your day, and uh, let's uh, see each other for some more shenanigans sometime in the future. If I ever feel like it, you know.